<laughs> Check it out, that's a lot of bees. Well, this is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> They attack me. <laughs> oh, I have to go. Okay, the first order of business. This is worker brood, mm -hmm. and the the cap cells. Our, our worker brood that you can see a larva right there. Mm -hmm. and over here I noticed Oh yeah, look at those. This is honey right here mm -hmm. and there's fresh there's nectar larva. right here. Mm. So the new hive will adopt that worker brood from someone else? They don't know the difference between the brood. Okay. So you're putting some honey in the front. Putting honey in the front, then the brood that I just brought in goes there. This is the comb where we're uh, giving you so that the queen has something to lay in right okay. away. Thank you. So they don't have to waste time uh, producing comb. Right. And down with some sugar water, huh? I'm spray some sugar water on the bees. That keeps them occupied. Just going to bounce the bees down. Oh yeah, that gets them all down. There. The, uh, oh, that holds the syrup in? I think this is going to be the first video on, on YouTube of installing a package into a top bar hive. Yeah, we couldn't find any. We <laughs> yeah, were we were looking at okay. Oh, there we go. What right. I like to do, this is empty. Okay. But if we had two little sticks that we could just prop it up back there. All right. See, there's a uh, little rag there. Yep. So just and the soak it. sugar drifts down on the rag and the bees are accustomed okay. feeding on that. Okay. Now, what we do is we take the queen. You got her? I've got her. And we shake her off. But we can get the queen installed right about here. Okay. And for the purposes at hand, I'm going to uh, mark this thusly so that you'll know where to look for the queen. Okay. Queen is in there. She's beautiful. She's got a red dot on her. That'll help me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she nice. is. She Very looks really sad, active. No, mm -hmm. she's alive. Mm, oh, she's yeah. alive. That's excellent. We're going to take this cork out. Okay. And we're going to use the point of the knife to kind of weaken that so that it's a little bit deeper mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that it makes it much easier for the bees to get See, her out. Yeah. Deep through it. So she'll come out through there. She'll come up through there. Actually, what'll happen is the bees will eat that candy out. Mm -hmm. Take some They a will move days. in there with her. And then she'll come out. All right. This uh, gets pressed into the wax. The wax is a little... Uh, cool. Yeah, stiff this morning. Notice that I've got it down. Mm -hmm. The the the, the, uh, the uh, opening in her cage is down. That's so the bees can come. Three days, up. you're going to want to open this up, slide all this back, and make sure she's out of there. If she's okay. not out of there, you hold it down inside mm -hmm. and uh, wiggle the candy out. Wig well, yes, and then make sure she goes in. Don't don't hold it up here like okay. this. Do it down here okay. like this. And you're just going to shake them down in there? No, I'm not going to shake them. I'm going to put box and all in there. Oh, let them find their own way. And they will come out all by themselves. 
Well, it's interesting Good because light. people would think they'd, they'd take off flying around, but they don't. They stay near the queen. Well, it's cold. They stay near the honey. I it, think it's, it's cold, cold this morning, so they're going to stay next to one another. Mm-hmm. And uh, if it was real hot, you know, if it was 90 degrees or so, we'd have bees every year. I can do this.